In this video, I'll demonstrate how to connect a WinterSense SDI-12 surface temperature sensor to an Aspen 10 and install it in the field. The WinterSense SDI-12 consists of the WinterSense sensor, two band clamps, a mounting bracket, and mounting bolts. Begin by collecting everything needed for the installation. This installation is being done on an existing light pole so a scissor lift is being used to raise the winter sense to the required height. The winter sense is generally mounted between 3 and 5 meters or 10 to 16 feet above the ground, though it can be mounted higher as needed. Open a hose clamp included with the winter sense and place it around the pole at the marked height. Slide the end of the hose clamp through the two openings on the C bracket. Fully tighten the hose clamp to secure the C bracket in place at the mark made on the pole. Remove the two bolts and washers from the C bracket. Place one bolt through the hole in the bracket on the winter sense and thread it into the C bracket. Place the other bolt through the curved slot on the winter sense and thread it into the remaining hole. Adjust the angle of the winter sense so the surface temperature sensor is aimed at the intended measuring surface. Typically, this will be at a 45 degree angle and pointed in the middle of the nearest lane of traffic or the middle of a walkway. Be sure to avoid any potential obstructions between the sensor and the measuring surface, such as snow banks. Fully tighten both mounting bolts. Use a zip tie to secure the WinterSense cable to the WinterSense. Leave a small drip loop in the cable to prevent water from flowing to the connector. Remove the red protective cover from the white sensor filter cap. Using the zip ties included with the Aspen 10, Mount the Aspen 10 to the pole below the winter sense. Leave enough slack in the wire to form a drip loop in the cable below the Aspen 10. Face the Aspen 10 to receive the most sunlight possible. In this case, I will point the Aspen 10 to 237 degrees. See the Getting Started Guide for position angles and when to use the Aspen 10 spacer. Fully tighten the zip ties. Use the third zip tie to secure the cable against the pole, ensuring the cable forms a drip loop below the Aspen 10. Open the Campbell Go app and follow the on-screen prompts to connect to the Aspen 10 and add the WinterSense to the network. See the Adding an Asset with Campbell Go video for instructions on how to use Campbell Go to add a new sensor to a network. This sensor is now ready to begin transmitting data to the cloud, where I can view it as I would any other data collected in my network. 